but why? <laughs> I guess they just don't want any trucks making the mistake of coming through here. I don't know. It's quite the puddle though. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JD hook. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. No idea what's going on here with the uh, fire department, but I don't see anybody around, so who knows? Hope everyone's okay. All right. Oh goodness. What? Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. There's like those are caches. <laughs> I can almost wear them. T Dub is gonna what? steal Cash's shoes she's talking about. I'm just saying we could share them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we can share them. Okay. Let's go to school. But they don't look like them. Beautiful morning. Well, a little cloudy. That's why they're not doing cement right now. Go ahead, push the start button. I know, not right now. Ooh. I told you not right now. All right now, let's go. <laughs> it just started raining a little bit. Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That's chewing tobacco. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. Have fun at school. Don't leave your backpack, got it? Yep. All right, let me see your face, Cash, clean? Yep. You're good, go I'm ahead. Not. Love you guys. Have fun, third day. Yeah. Love you. I love you. I gotta love you, I love it. All right. Well, we just had some bad lightning right here, and we also just got a load, so we're picking up at 10.30 for Convoy. It was listed at $200. Yesterday I bid on it and then um, now it's, I'm sorry, lost the tires a little bit there. Um, I bid 500 and they just accepted it. So see, see that lightning? <laughs> That's why we're not doing concrete. Well, we're blessed to get a convoy load. So uh, let's go pick that up at 1030, get home and wait for, we'll probably leave about nine because it's only 25 minutes away. And then we deliver tomorrow about 10 miles away. So nice little uh, $50 mile run, I guess. Take it. Let's go pick up this load. My goodness, we just got worked with uh, rain and lightning, like the closest lightning I've heard in a long time where it struck and immediately you heard it, so. All right, looks like it's out of the way though. Looks like it's clear skies down there almost. Let's go pick up this load. Well, at least that thing got a nice, nice shower, got rained on. Let's hook up that dry van and use it. We're gonna jump on 85 for a little bit, and uh, we're about seven miles away from the pickup. It's kind of by White Horse Road. If you know Greenville area, it's going towards the lakes, going towards uh, Georgia. So we'll get over here, get off, and I've never been here. It is a Saddle Creek, which I always identify Saddle Creek kind of with uh, Walmart. So they do all their, it's called a 3PL, uh, third party logistics. They pretty much a warehouse stuff for all different companies, so there's a bunch of them out there, but broke around loads when I need them run, so this is just a quick 10 mile run. It's pretty much they're renting a truck for a day because I'm just gonna put on a trailer and then I deliver it early morning tomorrow. I have delivered where it delivers to. It's, um, I think it's called Crown something. It's a beverage place, so they have all the beer cans and all the whatever uh, seltzer alcohol beverages that they sell out here in this area and all the kegs for the restaurants and stuff, so. Well, that's where we're going, like, they don't deliver, they don't take deliveries till early in the morning, so we can't just go take it there straight away. Uh, they, they'll only load it tomorrow morning, so. We'll be there bright and early. Right now, let's go put it on the truck. And per usual, lots of traffic on 85. There's a car hauler back there that was broke, broke down, and then that guy, maybe he's taking a break, I don't know. It looks like it's lighting up a little bit, maybe we'll get a smell load later, I don't know. They check the weather. The weather's the biggest thing on that concrete, so we'll see if we'll get something. But uh, I'm just grateful for this convoy load, for, for them actually coming up to the price and making it worthwhile for holding the trailer for the day. So we'll do that. We're exiting right up here at 44. 44B for Big 
place, so I mapped it on the uh, Apple Maps. Should be an easy, uh, easy back. We'll see. Keep it moving. Okay, okay. The Freightliner dealer over there that does not uh, give you part numbers. <laughs> Yeah, get over one because that's the only turn rides. Looks like they're building something else, probably another QT. No, it looks like a racetrack. The colors over there on the left, that white and white stripe with the two red stripes. I think that's the racetrack's uh, MO. They are digging up some holes, putting in some tanks. And they got truck diesel in the back, so that's a cool another truck stop. That's what we need more parking, more places to stop. there on that left that yellow stripe that shell station that's where uh, my story if you've uh, watched channel for a while you've heard it before where I said that I uh, first picked up a truck driver that got put in my head to be a truck driver well that's where I picked him up at and worldwide the Kenworth's over there on the left it's a pretty good place to get parts in Greenville I don't know about service but uh, parts for sure that's where we got one of our cab airbags for this big old girl because ours popped I think the wiring is rubbing on it. All right, we picked that back there to the right before. Uh, someone, nice guys there, a couple of them. Thanks for the hat and the shirt. I forget your name, man, I'm sorry, but uh, super nice guy. Looks like we're gonna be right up here on the right. Right past the propane, I think that's propane, yeah, that's propane. Let's see what we find. So it's kind of, kind of uh, right in front of someone. Someone's down over there to the right. Um, there's a road that gets over there from from further back. It looks like this is like U.S. Foods, it looks like, I think. We took a small little turn. It wasn't really meant for semis, but I watched a day cab with a drive van do it right in front of me, so I said, all right, <laughs> guess that's the way to get back here. And you could come back from the other way, but it was a little bit further past it, so it's 220 Commerce, so... And it's right past U.S. Foods, which is right here. Right. Let's see what we get. It's 215 on the left. This is 220 and where do trucks come in at? This has to be 220. I don't I just want to make it easiest to see what it says here. Uh truck entrance. Next gate. Okay, cool. It's kind of falling off the uh, fence there, but it's there. It looks like it might be strict appointment because there's a bunch of trucks just sitting out here. 219. I don't want to be bypassing them all. We're supposed to jump out and go check in, or are they waiting for their appointment? I don't know. Um, if I should hang out on the left check in or what I should do, but there's a truck behind me. I'm going to have to swing pretty wide if I'm making it in this turn here. Ah. That FedEx, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why they have those big pieces of concrete blocking him from getting in there. I don't know if he's going to make that turn there in the day cab. He's going to cut the corner and hit that fence. Ah. Careful, buddy. Why did they put that? Attention drivers, checking it from the office, unstrap your truck. SRS transfer drivers have priority, okay. I don't know if that's talking about for this place over here or what, but this poor guy is not gonna make this turn. Huh. All right, we got a Saddle Creek truck behind us. With a giant puddle underneath him, so if he's gonna get out. Let's see what Saddle Creek does. Saddle Creek gonna try to make that turn? Uh, yes, he is. Okay. Bunch of cars, and I'm not gonna make that turn until this FedEx truck's moved. But he's got a predicament. Okay. I'm gonna probably back it up, get it along this line right here of this wall, and then go check in. It looks like a bunch of roof shinglings, and it is roof shinglings. Um, 
we've, we're getting our roof done. So it was a pretty big deductible. It's like $8,300 deductible. I had no idea. And uh, I guess our insurance is, no, it's not cheap. It's like almost $2,000 a year, which I guess is pretty cheap. Uh, and they say it's that cheap. It would be more, way more, if uh, we didn't have such a high deductible. I was like, uh, I didn't, didn't know I had such a high deductible. But no worries. We're getting our roof done. Something needs to be done, and I guess it will help the premium for next time. So it's like a 25-year roof. But whatever. Let's focus on what we're doing right now. The neon truck over here. And let's get backed up and along this wall. Let's see if maybe I can help FedEx with whatever he's doing. Well, he made it, backed it up a couple times, and then uh, came through. But why? <laughs> I guess they just don't want any trucks making the mistake of coming through here. I don't know. Quite the puddle, though. So, we're way back there on the right, and let's go see if we can talk to somebody. Because I don't want to jump in front of all these people if they have the same appointments. Beyond this point, no pedestrian traffic on outside dock. Okay. Well, no one's. Let's see if we can talk to somebody or where's the check in. Maybe it's down there. Maybe I should go back around. All right. Let's see. Get some work done on the old forklift. Looks like they have Corona. Huh. All right, let's go. Yeah, I've never been here. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> so at least somebody talked to me. He said right on the other side of this trailer. It's actually some stairs. Well, let's go. It says shipping and receiving. Two things, make sure you slide your tandems and make sure you don't hook up until we give you. Okay, and then uh, one of these doors right here? Yeah. Number? One of these. Okay. Can we park in that lot across the street because there ain't no room on the street park. Thank you. Thank you. 10.33, our appointment was 10.30 and they just called. So they said dock, dock four. So I don't know if you heard late earlier, but um, we get to drop it, uh, slide tandems, disconnect, and then come back out here. Kind of like that uh, truck right there. H, H2P is going back in to get his trailer. Cool. Fire up and let's go disconnect and slide some tandems. In all my five years of driving, I've never been here, so it's kind of tight for sure. Definitely day cap friendly. Uh, we'll see how W9 does, but we'll make it happen. I saw three and five, did not see four, and then I saw the sign falling down. It's on the ground, kind of, so. It's where it should be, right between three and five. Just no uh, four above it. But it's right here between these two trailers. Oh, that's also marked on the ground, so there you go. Door four. All right, let's not try to put our tires in there. Uh, nice grass over there, and let's try to make this angle. So they kind of call everybody at once. <laughs> uh, these two guys came in to get their trailers. Uh, and we're just wait, we're disconnected. Ten slid waiting to get out of here. But you cannot get out of here until the other trucks are out of here. So wait for them to, I guess, close their doors, slide their tandems again, and then we'll probably go to the left. It would be nice if all that grass was uh, concrete, but whatever. Whoever designs these places, it's not a trucker. Not sure what this guy's trying to do, but he's going up on the grass. <laughs> truck next to me is not done yet. He's, there's no way he's going to clear my nose. Uh, but hey, put your tire in there. It's all good. The Volvo next to me is just kind of chilling. He hasn't moved in a while, so don't know. Oh, there we go. Slide the tandems. Uh, nope, just sliding back. Let's we'll see what he's doing. What's, what's this guy doing, man? Come on, bro. You're not going to clear my nose. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Maybe he'll notice that I'm disconnecting now and moving. Uh-oh, this guy's on the grass, too. And he's backing up towards me. 
Oh man. Alright, don't hit me. Please, just go that way. Looks like there was two other trucks to his left that I couldn't see. So was he stopping there? What are we doing? We just shoot out of here. There we go. All right. Now we'll go back across the street and wait for a phone call. Looks like we're probably getting Corona. I don't know. I don't know what they got in front of us. Looks like it's a mixed batch of the truck in front of us. So Let's see what we get. Look at Modelo. I think's in there. Yeah, I think Modelo is the number one beer in America now. Yep, that's Modelo. And Corona. Okay. Let's wait for a phone call. Pretty cool wrap on that Cobra right there. It's got the Shelby badge in the front. Those are fast. Like them. Okay, just turned off our green APU. And we got the call. Number four is done. So let's go pick it up. Seal is on and got our paperwork. We have Corona and Modelo. Just like I thought. We actually have some kegs in there too. Crazy. But it's only going seven miles, so... Let's uh, deliver in the morning. Okay, not to Atlanta. We're going to head towards Spartanburg. And there was an easy route just to go straight up there right from here, but uh, we're not just going to wait there all day, all day until tomorrow morning. So we'll take this back to the yard and deliver it early. Check for the way stations, but he just cruised right through. So, nope, not stopping here. Got a guy with a bobcat on a RGN, it looks like. And then we got another, another truck just passing right by. Guess they got the, uh, the transponder. Western Express, see you later. Uh, I keep thinking I have an air leak somewhere, but it's the bugs outside, the cicada. <laughs> you open your window and This is a green light. They don't realize you just got to keep rolling through. They're just checking your numbers. And if there's someone standing out here, they'll be listening for air leaks and looking at your tires. It's pretty cool. It's a lift axle on that RGN. But the back axle's not even touching the ground. Lifted it up. They'll hit it red if they want you to stop on the scale. 
this is the small scale of measure, or measures of each um, each axle. So just cruise through slowly. Check your numbers, and they'll red light you if they if they want to. There we go. But they're open today. Looking for anything out of the ordinary. All right, let's get back to speed. Okay, she's loaded. Let's get going. The way station is closed. Let's roll back, get to see these boys for a second and teed up. So I'll probably back a little bit later. Um, I already got somebody on a flatbed. Trailer switched out and a beautiful sunset. Not many clouds in the sky at all, just some jet streams. Uh, let's deliver this one in the morning. Let's go see T Dubs. All right, she is cooled down and locked up. Let's take a walk on the wild side. It's a beautiful sunset. I saw the sun peeking out. We have lights on because we're back in an hour or so. Get down there. Pretty. Right. Let's make a walk. Probably headed out to Charleston. Neighbors are shining their car. Boots meets me outside. <laughs> oh yeah. Wifey meets you outside. And wifey meets me outside. Hi, beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. I could, I got to deliver at four in the morning, so I got to come say hi and I got to go. What's up, Boots? What you want, food? Uh, you want cuddles? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Crazy cat. Outdoor cat. That was a beautiful sunset, though. Was the hose on? Uh, yeah, I thought we had like a broken water main, but it's just our neighbor leaking water down the yard. But they're washing that car. Get the shine on. I love you. I love you more. Enjoy your shows. <laughs> your programs. Your commercials. Love you too, babe. Both the big kids were not covered up, so I put their blankets on them, rubbed their foreheads, and Tank, my youngest, was fully covered in his, his clothes, so I rubbed his forehead too. Um, T Dubs, enjoy your shows, and we're gonna go deliver some Modelo early morning. But on that note, God bless you guys, and we will see you on the next one.